in the last couple of years we find tourism is becoming highly popular among domestic travelers honeymoon couples solo travelers people traveling in groups or family vacations it these hill stations are becoming the main attractions for them a family when they travel they expect a lot of things at a destination sightseeing taking part in amusement and fun activities doing shopping or engaging children in park and nearby areas solo travelers find these places as attractive pastime or spending vacation and taking part in their hobby or passionate activities such as photography or hiking or even writing we find honeymoon couples who prefer hill stations after their marriage they spend time in these hill stations and taking part in various activities like adventure now let me take you to jammu and kashmir this union territory is having a number of interesting hill stations we can divide these into two different regions one is jammu and the other one is srinagar srinagar is a valley and jammu is a nearest railhead accessible to people from mainland in srinagar the major hill stations include one is srinagar srinagar as a city located in the center of that area then we have gulmarg sonamarg and pahalgam as the major attractions so sonamarg has very interesting landscape features such as a glacier called the tajiwas glacier and river the surrounding hills that is giving a wonderful experience to visitors in gulmarg we have the gondola we also have the snow filled adventure activities and pahalgam pahalgam in the local language called shepherd's village it is a very beautiful scenic point it's almost 70 to 80 kilometers if i am right it's away from srinagar and the, this is also a popular spot for the old if you remember betha movie they shot in that particular locality chandanwadi is the base point base camp for amarnath pilgrims so let us have a quick glance of four major hill stations one is srinagar srinagar city includes dal lake the mughal garden nishad bagh uh, raja hari singh palace then you have shankaracharya hill when we take jammu as the next region jammu we have again four major places to remember the first one is patni top from jammu it is 112 kilometers and it is situated en route to srinagar when you travel by road very beautiful landscape with the devadar trees and during winters we experience snowfall here sanasar sanasar is another interesting attraction from jammu it is 129 kilometers then you have jai wali it is 230 kilometers from jammu and the last one is badarwa badarwa is 185 kilometers from jammu so these hill stations are having as i told you a very pleasant weather during summer season and the vegetation normally pine trees and the the landscape the lands the meadows which we can find there now let us study himachal pradesh himachal pradesh means the abode of snow himachal pradesh is also called as devbhumi the land of gods there are many religious sites in himachal pradesh and the hill stations which are located among the slopes of himalayan ranges attract 
large number of visitors. So let us see from Delhi when you take people take two routes to reach different places of Himalayan Pradesh. One is via Chandigarh, then towards Shimla and Kasa, Kufri, the Kasol, and the other side is Manali, Manigaran, Kausani, and the other road is through Patan Court. People uh, choose this road to reach Dharmashala, Mangalorganj, or Kangra, Dalhousie, and Chamba. So, these are the places which are termed as popular hill stations of Himachal Pradesh. And when we take the example of Manali frequently, Manali is also a popular film location. Many movies shot in the background of Manali. The landscape features and its proximity to Rohtang Pass. Rohtang Pass is three hours from Manali where you can take part in snow related activities. During the time of winter, the route is closed. So, Solan Valley, where you can reach during the time of December, January and February and do these adventurous activities. Manali is also having rafting, river rafting facilities and the nearby areas, the hills are popular hiking points for visitors. The main market and the temple, Hidamba temple, Vyas temple, there are few other points where people prefer to visit. Kulu, Kulu is another point which comes in between Chandigarh to Manali and from Manali it is hardly 40 plus kilometers and from here we take an off route to Manigaran and Kasoli. So this then taking the other side, near to Tibet, Kasa. Kasa is a place which can be accessible through road. At adventure tourists, they take their own vehicles, bike or cars to reach this place. Lahul and Spidi. This is only accessible during the time of summer season. When we go to the other side, Dharmashala. Dharmashala is the headquarters. I told you, Magloid Ganj where Dalai Lama lives, Dharmashala and the adjacent areas we can find lot of monasteries. And we also have a cricket stadium in Dharmashala. Then we have Dalhousie. Dalhousie is a very small place but is very beautiful. Dalhousie to Khajiar. Khajiar is a beautiful locality. It takes three hours to reach if you go by on taxi and it's a beautiful meadow where surrounding areas are full of devadar trees where you can have boat, uh, you can take a horse ride here, take part in small uh, fun activities.